Hi friends, this is lecture number 19 of power system series. In my previous video, I told you the derivation of internal inductance. Here in this lecture, we are going to study external inductance and total inductance. External inductance is due to flux linkages outside the conductor because flux also exists outside the conductor. Okay, because flux is not only inside the conductor, it is also present outside the conductor. So external inductance is due to these outside fluxes. So again, we will use the same concepts, but here we have to take the Ampereian loop. And here we take the Ampereian loop outside the conductor. So here we will repeat the same concept concepts. But what you have to remember that in case of internal inductance to find to derive the expression for internal inductance we assume the Ampereian loop inside the conductor and here in this case we will take the Ampereian loop outside the conductor and this loop will enclose the entire conductor. So here current enclosed by Ampereian loop will be current I. And here we all know that to find the inductance, what we have to do? We need to find the flux linkage because inductance is equals to flux linkage upon current. And to find the flux linkage, what we have to do? We need to find the magnetic field. And magnetic field can be found by using Ampere's law. So here first we start with the assumption of Ampereian loop. Suppose this is conductor and it is carrying current I in a direction it which is coming out of your screen okay so the direction of this is cross section of conductor and you have to assume the current that is coming out of this screen now we will assume the Ampereian loop here outside the conductor see this is radius r of conductor and this is Ampereian loop with radius y and you can see that this Ampereian loop is outside the conductor and it is enclosing the whole conductor. Now, so total current enclosed by this Ampereian loop is I and by Ampere's law, we know that I enclosed is equals to line integral of H dot dl. So here I enclosed is equals to I and what is S dot dl? So line integral of dl is equals to simply circumference of parameter of uh, Ampereian loop and what is parameter of Ampereian loop that is equals to 2 pi y 2 pi y. So here we get i is equals to h into 2 pi y. So we get and this 2 pi y is integration of line integral of dot dl. So here we get h is equals to i by 2 pi y. Now what is d phi? d phi is equals to b dot ds and here b is equals to mu naught i upon 2 pi y because we know that b is equals to mu naught h. This has already been told to you in my previous lecture. So b here is equals to mu naught i upon 2 pi y. So simply we are multiplying mu naught with this expression of h because b is equals to mu naught h. Now here in this expression d phi is equal to b dot ds, b is known and we have to find the ds and ds will be area that is perpendicular to magnetic field that is b or we can say it must be perpendicular to b or h. So as current is coming out of your screen, so by right hand thumb rule, magnetic field will be anti-clockwise. Now direction of B or H at any point on Ampereian loop will be tangential to the loop. So at any point if we want to find the direction of B or H, then we have to take the tangent to the Ampereian loop. See this length of conductor, this is L. And this dark blue surface is area perpendicular to field B. So to understand it more clearly, watch my previous lecture where I derived the formula for internal inductance. There I already explained 
in very detail all these concepts so that's why i am uh, going a bit fast so you have to cope up with it so this dark blue surface is area perpendicular to magnetic field v so this dark blue surface has length l and it has breadth y so what is area ds ds is equals to l into dy so we can write d phi is equals to b b is equals to mu naught i upon 2 pi y and ds ds is equals to l into dy now we know that flux linkage d psi is equals to d phi into number of turns and i also told you that this whole conductor can be treated as a single turn and this empyrean loop is enclosing the entire conductors that's why total number of turns in the empyrean loop will be equals to 1 so n is equals to 1 and d phi is also known so we can write d psi is equals to d phi into 1 that is equals to mu naught li upon 2 pi into dy by y now we have to integrate the both sides from d1 to d2 here d1 is r okay d1 is equals to radius of conductor and d2 is the is point somewhere outside the imperial loop so to find the total flux linkage what we have to do we have to take integration from d1 to d2 or we can say r r to d2 so on integration integrating from r to d2 we get psi is equals to mu naught li upon 2 pi what is integration of 1 upon y that is log ln d2 minus log d1 that is equals to c log a minus log b is equals to log a upon b so simply use that concept this flux linkage is equals to mu naught li upon 2 pi log d2 by d1 if we have to find the psi between r and d then we what we do we will put r is equals to d1 and d2 is equals to d so simply we get mu naught li upon 2 pi ln d by r and what is r r is the radius of conductor so external inductance will be equals to what we have to do we have to simply divide the flux linkage by current i so external inductance will be equals to psi upon i and what is the value of flux linkage that is equals to mu naught l upon 2 pi ln d by r and and divided by i so simply we get mu naught i l l mu naught l upon 2 pi l and d by r so on dividing this expression by length l we get external inductance in henry per meter because this expression of external inductance is in henry and we always take the expression for in henry per meter now you may ask why we are finding in external inductance in unit henry per meter so answer is because in case of transmission line this inductance is not accumulated at a point okay it is spreading over the entire length of transmission line because it is a distributed parameter so in case of distributed parameter is it is convenient to take the parameters in per unit length that's why this external inductance here is taken in henry per meter now total inductance is total inductance is internal inductance plus external inductance and we will take these inductance in henry per meter so total inductance is internal plus external inductance internal inductance was derived in my previous lecture and external inductance is derived in this lecture so adding both these inductances we get what was internal inductance that was equals to mu naught upon 8 pi it was constant and what is internal external inductance that is equals to mu naught upon 2 pi l and d by r so adding these two we get this expression of total inductance so here if we further simplify the expression of internal uh, total inductance so on further simplifying the expression of total inductance we get mu naught upon 2 pi ln d by r e to the power 1 minus 4 so here he, uh, he see here this 1 by 4 can be written as ln e to the power 1 by 4 
एंड इफ वी राइट दिस एक्सप्रेशन एज लॉग ए प्लस लॉग बी इज इक्व टू लॉग ए बी सो सिंपली राइट इट एज राइट इट लाइक दिस वी गेट म्यूनट अपॉन टू पाई एल एंड डी बाई आर ई टू दावर वन माइनस वन बाई फोर हियर दिस आर ई टू जी पावर पावर माइनस वन बाई फोर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज आर डेस एंड वी कॉल इट ज्योमेट्रिक मीन रेडियस ज्योमेट्रिक मीन रेडियस सो दिस इज ज्योमेट्रिक मीन रेडियस एंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो आई विल लेटर एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ दिस इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट ओके सो टोटल इंडक्टेंस इज इक्वल्स टू म्यू नॉट अपॉन टू पाई एल एंड डी बाई आर ई टू जी पावर माइनस वन बाई फोर सो समरी ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज इंटरनल इंडक्टेंस इज इक्वल्स टू म्यू नॉट अपॉन एट पाई एक्सटर्नल इंडक्टेंस इज म्यू नॉट अपॉन टू पाई एल एंड डी बाई आर एंड टोटल इंडक्टेंस इज म्यू नॉट अपॉन टू पाई एल एंड डी बाई आर डेस एंड दिस आर डेस इज ज्योमेट्रिक मीन रेडियस सो इवन इफ यू डू नॉट रिमेंबर दिस होल डेरिवेशन देन यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दीज थ्री एक्सप्रेशंस सो दीज थ्री एक्सप्रेशंस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दे वर दे विल बी फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इन माई अपकमिंग लेक्चर सो यू हैव टू मेमोराइज दीज लेक्चर्स दीज दीज फॉर्मूलाज सी remember these these three formulas and also remember here external inductance or mutual inductance is due to mutual flux and internal inductance or self inductance is due to internal flux so in formula of total inductance only r of external inductance is replaced by r dash you can see here see this is the formula of external inductance that is mu not upon 2 pi ln d by r and what is the total inductance for total inductance we have just replaced the value of r by r dash okay so observe this carefully so if we replace the conductor by a hypothetical conductor where there is no internal flux when there is no internal flux it means there is external flux only then this inductance will be equals to external inductance only and the radius of conductor at that time will be equals to r dash okay all you, all you are getting my point it means the significance of this r dash is if we replace the conductor with some hypothetical conductor where there is no internal flux it means there is only external flux is present or and when only external flux is present then the radius of conductor must be equals to r dash so clearly so try to understand this this is very important concept now consider a single phase two wire line suppose these are two conductors and two conductors uh, one is uh, acting as forward conductor and this other conductor is acting as backward conductor so this forward conductor is carrying current i and it is carrying current minus i it means it represents that it is making a closed loop because we need a closed loop to uh, loop for a current so here this forward conductor is carrying current i and it is carrying current minus i so inductance of this conductor a will be equals to simply use the formula of total inductance that is equals to mu not upon 2 pi ln d by r it is and what will be the inductance of this conductor b that will be equals to mu not upon 2 pi ln d by r b it is it is very simple now these both conductors are in series so total inductance of these two conductors will be equals to simply la plus lb so we can directly write mu not upon 2 pi ln d by r it is plus mu not upon 2 pi ln d by r b it is so on solving this we get mu not upon 2 pi ln d d square by r it is r b it is under root of this so this is an example uh, which i solve on the basis of inductance 
so this is all about this video i hope you got all the concepts thank you share share